Hi, I'm Jan from VelomobileWorld.com and welcome to this toolbox uh, talk. Uh, okay, uh, nice uh, Velomobile, nice, uh, the wheels are covered, that's very aerodynamic, but what happens if I have a flat tire? How do I change the tire? Uh, this is a uh, client bike and I didn't want to put everything on, uh, so uh, that's why I drive now like this. Uh, so yeah, let's see, I have now a flat tire, so I will show you how to uh, change front tire and how to change the inner tube of a rear tire. Yeah, so um, I had always a piece of yoga mat with me in, the, in my Velomobile. Um, I changed my Velomobile, I put it somewhere and I cannot find it anymore. Uh, so I, I just brought something to put here on the grass to get, don't get your bike dirty. And I turn it around. It's also very important to make sure you have no uh, loose uh, parts here hanging around. So it might be a smart idea to take your seat out. You can also choose, of course, use your seat mat to protect your uh, Velomobile. I have always an outside uh, tire with an inside tire tube. Uh, here already with some air in it, so it makes tire chains faster. Okay, so push the tire off like this. Take off the top. So it, it's practical, um, so now it's autumn and uh, temperatures are okay, but I had also pre pre uh, pretty oft uh, temperatures were really dropping and um, yeah, you get cold fingers. With cold fingers you don't have that much power, at least I don't have that much power and it start to get difficult to get your tire on again so it's a smart idea to uh, bring some gloves in order you can keep your your uh, hands warm and as you can see this is uh, we don't speed up the video and I don't it takes me maybe three four minutes to put a new tire on. So you can bring also a proper pump because this is like it's a nice lightweight pump. Oh yeah that's also very important check check here here between if not the the inner tube is uh, stuck with the tire because that's gonna generate an explosion so that's not much yet 
free bar. Yeah. So the pumping part is in this case the longest. But um, there are much better pumps on the market than this uh, than this crappy one. So this is for me pretty much this is the most difficult part to get on pressure and you hear like the pock 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 that means the tire gets on his place here i have an, uh, a four bar i find it enough for uh, this uh, this little pump to put in uh, if you come home and you have there a proper pump, you put in uh, the rest of the air. You check one more time, like, okay, if it's uh, proper lined. Okay, I will show you also how to do the rear wheel. What I bring with me is a spare tire and a spare tube for front. I bring uh, one uh, tube for the rear, a pump of course, and I bring uh, two levers and I bring still with me uh, a set of repairs for uh, in case of I don't have any more spare tires, uh, uh, tubes, uh, I can still uh, fix the holes. So these things are called levers, uh, so to get off the tire from the rim. They're not meant to be to put them on um, because uh, you will uh, pierce the inner tube and uh, you can do the job again and you can throw the inner tube. Uh, so that's not a good idea. So here I have the new inner tire, uh, the new, so here I have the new, uh, Inner tube, I think, yeah, inner tube. I put always a bit air in it because that makes life easier to not have it tight like this or uh, twisted like this. <coughs> also, it's a, it's a good practice to check with your, because it, it, you have a flat tire, so something sharp went through the tire uh, so it's good to check if you have some sharp edges, make sure it's uh, clean. Somehow it, uh, the valve didn't close when I talked. So I put some air back again. I did too much. So the rear wheel is a bit more difficult as the front wheels, but it's not impossible. Um, some people say, oh, it's terrible, but I would say it's possible, but not extremely easy. So it's better uh, to practice a couple of times before uh, at home, if you have an, if you are just new in the available bees scene. Uh, because uh, if you do this the first time and it's, it's cold and you stand on a rainy spot or a spot where you can't really park, uh, you cannot do this job safely. It's nice if you be gone as soon as possible there. Uh, so yeah, it's it's a good uh, good thing to practice this a couple of times at home before you hit the road, or just uh, accept that the first time you need to change 
and tire it takes it takes a bit longer so in this case it's really like with this little pump uh, H's so I will sh short off the film here uh, yeah if you uh, want to see some other things some more things you want to learn let some comments behind and uh, have fun see you next time if you liked uh, our uh, video please consider the subscribing of it uh, if you want to let some comments behind uh, with uh, some ideas from other videos just uh, put it in the comments we have also a website willemobileworld.com um, have a look have a great day bye bye